Hey guys, what you doing? It's the Killer Doll here, and today we're going to be talking about something that probably doesn't belong on YouTube, but as per usual, uh, exists freely on the platform. And of course, is not age-restricted because, um, fuck, I guess nobody does that. So there's this lovely little thing called the age play community. Age play being a form of role play where a person decides to uh, pretend that they are a different age than they actually are, typically younger, of course but sexual and apparently regardless of it being sexual can be considered part of the BDSM community and falls into the caregiver little range of stuff. And especially when sexual may involve punishments, you know, you really go from fearing the belt as a child to now wanting the belt. And it exists uh, very freely and all over YouTube, which is totally fun. 10 out of 10 family-friendly content. You know, letting minors into adult-based spaces that talk about kinks and roleplay and all of that juicy stuff. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna be talking about today because I guess people literally think that putting stuff on the internet that is very heavily involving consent is just totally acceptable for the, you know, unknowing eye to see. So because there's a demand for everything on YouTube, there is of course going to be kink-related content on the website. And this is just one genre of more than likely many kinks that exist on YouTube. Now, do I think that talking about kinks and all that is bad? Absolutely not. People should have resources for finding stuff on, you know, adult-based things, so they could go about doing this stuff in a more comfortable environment, if not a safe environment. Does this content belong on YouTube? Under the idea of education, it is allowed on YouTube as long as it is age-restricted. Because, you know, when talking about stuff such as kinks, minors should not be allowed into these spaces. It allows for a lot of bad things to happen, and just in general, it shouldn't be allowed. And the channels and videos I'm gonna be talking about today uh, don't age restrict their content and literally allow children to stumble upon it. Essentially welcoming minors with open arms to their uh, 18 plus spaces. This is done through many different means, but you will see some consistencies with the channels I'll be talking about. And while we're going to be talking about specific channels today, it should be noted that there are more than likely a lot more channels like this that exist. And per usual, don't go out of your way to harass these dudes. I am just specifically criticizing them for things. Um, if you don't like it, you can feel free to report it if you want, but I wouldn't go over and harass them because that's not something I'm okay with you guys doing. Now, I'm not gonna be showing videos because I myself I uh, would like to actually keep my YouTube channel and not be demonetized any further than I already am. But as I mentioned, this content is available for you to watch in your own time because it is not restricted by any means. So if you feel so compelled to watch grown women basically talk about what diapers they prefer using, um, I can't fucking stop you. You do you, I guess. So let's dive into the world of the age play community on YouTube and see just exactly what minors are able to see on this hell site. So the first channel we are going to be talking about is Gummy Pom Pom, which right away with the video that's the trailer for the channel, uh, you can clearly see what we're getting into. And also their description exists as well, which is a lot to unpack. Hello, my nickname is Gummy, like my favorite candies. I'm 26 years old. On this channel, I hope to post videos on my random experiences, crafts, video games, and toys. May include age play related content. As such, this channel is not intended for those under the age of 18. I do not encourage nor approve of minors participating in kink in any way, shape, or form. Failure to monitor your child's online activity is your problem. Thank you. Note, I do not condone nor encourage minors watching interacting on my videos. So as you can see here, we've got a totally family-friendly channel here we've got crafts we've got video games we've got the trendy idea of thrifting uh, we've also got diapers <laughs> you know a whole range of content content that you know isn't specifically geared toward the uh, age play community it could you know easily end up on somebody's search that's underage that's you know I don't know wanting to look up a Pokemon you know walkthrough or a Dragon Age one do you see where I'm going with this or do I need to like elaborate more I will elaborate more later but for now don't worry. Let that sit in your head real quick. I also really love the little warning that they put before uh, videos that they post, you know, because it totally absolves you from the ramifications that you could face for, you know, presenting content that is 18 plus to minors and, you know, minors being put in your 18 plus space. Totally means that you did your best to, you know, protect kids from being a part of 18 plus spaces. Because as we all know, kids 100% listen to warnings that are put before them and will actually read this stuff and won't just watch it just to be rebellious little shit. As I mentioned, this is put on like age play videos, but this warning is very clearly missing from like their non age play videos, such as their gaming ones, you know, which is totally nice, totally a 10 out of 10 family content. And as one does,
because their gaming videos are tagged so it will show up on like gaming related tags such as you know Pokemon playthroughs, walkthroughs, stuff like that. Because you know, despite saying that you don't want children to stumble upon your videos, you're more than welcoming to them to like search up Pokemon stuff and possibly come across your content. You know, your Pokemon content and your kink content. Because you know, we love saying that we don't want minors to interact with this stuff while also doing nothing to prevent them from actually interacting with this stuff. You know, the content that is very clearly designed for 18 plus people and minors should not be allowed to even interact with in general. Side note, on the topic of tagging, I don't know if they tagged this stuff because you know, this is something that they've talked about in the past or anything like that, or if they're just doing it to boost their search results. But Gummy Pom Pom's tags include, and I quote, make America great, America first, and Donald Trump. I, I don't know, I just find that very intriguing that you don't want people to stumble across your content yet this is not involved in any of your content and it's in your channel tags. Totally not trying to boost people to come over to your channel. Next up we have His Little Bat. And yet again we have a channel that decides to post warnings at the beginning of their videos and within their description. To their credit though, uh, they do differ from the first channel and it's because they put their warnings in all of their videos and not just their age play related ones. So congrats for doing the absolute bare minimum I guess. And you know the description reads like the other one but we're just gonna read it anyways because it looks cuter. Hello hello! My name is Echo. Welcome to my channel. I'm currently 23 years old and I'm part of the BDSM community, more specifically the Pet Play CGL community. This channel's purpose is to create a fun, safe space for all of us delicate little angel babies. I hope to spread nothing but love, kindness, and positivity within our community. This channel is strictly 18 plus. Minors and minor supporters are not welcomed here. BDSM, kink, caregiver little, Pet Play is always 18 plus. Now you heard this person, guys. This channel is clearly 18 plus. It's for adults only no children allowed whatsoever. You see that? Read the sign. 18 plus. Nobody under that age can enter here. When I tell you the disconnect is truly astounding uh, from literal adults, it's astounding. Now, as I mentioned earlier, unlike Gummy Pom Pom's channel, this channel does decide to display their I'll call it what it is, useless little warning at the beginning of all of their content and not just their kink related ones. But again, my criticism still stands. You're making content that's not inherently related to kink and it's still visible to people that are minors. So therefore, minors can still stumble across your actual kink related content. Because I mean, you literally post vlogs titled Vlogmas and Hallow Vlog or something like that. And you use those specific tags for it as well as you're like, other kink related tags, which means that you do want people to find this content and you're more than welcoming minors to stumble across it. And again, kids don't listen, so I mean, I get what you're trying to accomplish here, but it's not really working. Little fucking golden star for you because I mean, you tried, I think. Lastly, we are gonna be talking about the most notable figure within this community due to them being on a documentary, Binky Princess, which contrary to the last two channels, uh, they put no warnings regarding their content whatsoever on the beginning of their videos or in their description. And their content isn't age restricted unless they get a community guidelines one. So this is definitely the most, I don't care if kids find my content channel that I'm gonna be talking about. And of course, this channel has a wide range of content. But to very briefly give you an idea of what is on this channel, we have ASMR content, vlogs done out of boredom, skincare routine, Love that. And good old adult nursery footage, which as you can see is just advertised as a nursery tour. So um, a lot of expecting parents are gonna be in for a shock when they see this shit. Now I'm just gonna give YouTube credit for a second because they do have some of their videos marked as age restricted due to the community guidelines and all that. Again, it's not Binky Princess doing this, it's YouTube going out of their way to do this shit. But again, um, this channel in general isn't doing anything to keep minors out of 18 plus spaces, so that's a problem in its own. Another star for bare minimum, I guess. I really shouldn't be giving you guys stars for that, but okay. I also really wanna to touch on the fact that I find it very interesting that a channel that is so big within this community is doing literally nothing to try to keep people that are underage out of their space. Cause like to the other two channels credit, they did the bare minimum by putting at least warnings in their description and in their videos. Again, it doesn't do anything, but again, bare minimum. Meanwhile, Binky's just having a heyday posting normal content and then kink related content with absolutely no warning whatsoever. I think the most recent thing that attests to this is that they've recently posted a cam girl Q&A where they talk about camming and stuff like that. 
um, completely not age restricted when it definitely should be because you know uh, conversations as they literally say in the video about camming are definitely for adults and for 18 plus people and minors should not be having access to this information. Who needs to age restrict your content when you could just say this isn't meant for minors and then go into detail about it. Now what I really want to talk about regarding these channels is the biggest and most like obvious thing concerning them is that at least two out of the three of these channels keep saying that they don't want minors to interact, minors do not interact with my content, minors do not watch my content. Minors should not be in adult-based spaces, and if you're a parent and your kid is watching this, it's your fault. While these channels are literally doing nothing to prevent minors from entering these spaces. Like, at all. You can say minors don't watch this video at the beginning of a video all you want. You could say you don't condone minors watching your content at all as much as you want. You could say this also in the description as well as your about section, yet you are literally ignoring the one option there is to make sure that minors are going to not be able to see this content, which is age restricting it, which is a very simple click of a button when you're trying to upload a video. Now this could be because the content that they are posting is monetized, I did get ads on Gummy and Binky Princess's videos, or it could be because it's easier to just say, parents, this is your fault that your kid stumbled upon this, instead of taking, you know, actual accountability as a grown ass adult. Or shit, maybe they actually just don't care. It could be either or, I'm not a fucking mind reader. Now, I really hate talking about this because this is making me defend parents when I am a very watch what your kid is watching, uh, take accountability for your kids watching this shit, don't give little kids access to this shit if you're worried about them, and YouTubers aren't responsible for the shit that your kids watch kind of person. But there is a line and y'all have most definitely crossed it. Because what we're not gonna do is sit here and pretend that me watching Uber Hacks Renova swear while playing Minecraft as a kid is the same thing as a kid stumbling upon kink related content. Because I'm also very, if you're going to post content about kinks and kink related content in general on a website where minors are and there is an ability to age restrict it, you need to age restrict it because minors should not be allowed in 18 plus spaces. And if minors still get through because they made their channel so they were an adult, uh, congratulations, now you have legs to stand on when talking about parents not watching what their kids are posting because you've done everything in your power to avoid this situation from happening. But until you guys start doing that, you have absolutely no legs to stand on when it comes to blaming parents for their kids finding the content and you unfortunately open yourself up to dealing with my bitch ass. All of the channels that I've mentioned post content that minors themselves can watch in their free time from fucking gameplay videos to thrift hauls to vlogs. Yet they take absolutely no accountability for the kink content they post and minors being able to interact with it because they do not age restrict it. They're basically scapegoating on the parents and saying that if your kid finds this content that's on you not on me. <laughs> like I really don't get the thought process with this. There's literally the ability to age restrict but instead of doing that, you just post a little warning, if not no warning at all, and just say, fuck it, don't interact if you're not 18. It's 20-somethings, if not 30-somethings, having no idea what accountability is for me. But because, you know, I am a very nice person, I would rather have this content stay up for the arguable educational purposes that it has in regards to kink you know, per YouTube's guidelines that it can stay up as long as it's like age restricted and all that because you know, um, again, minors should not interact with this shit. Here's what I might suggest for these channels to do so, you know, their channels don't get blasted into oblivion for posting, you know, uh, 18 plus content with absolutely no restrictions on it. Number one, if you really, truly do not want minors to interact with your content because, you know, you're trying to create an adult space, uh, you should age restrict your content, as I've said numerous times. It is literally a very simple click of a button that will predominantly keep minors at bay and not allow them to watch these 18 plus videos. Plus, it also covers your ass because if you do this, it is literally you saying, hey, minors should not be interacting with this, and if they still do, then it's the parents' fault, and then you have legs to stand on for that. And because, you know, per YouTube's guidelines, it's what you're supposed to do. I don't know how many times I have to say that, but again, per guidelines, that's what you should be doing. And number two, considering that most of you guys are posting, you know, like, uh, other content than just kink stuff, uh, creating two separate channels so you could do your little vlogmas shit and your kink shit, but not in the same vicinity. I really don't feel like I need to elaborate on this, it'll keep kid-friendly content away from not kid-friendly content, um, avoiding problems. This isn't a big brain move, it, I feel like this is common sense. <laughs> Just to reiterate, I am all for kink content being posted on YouTube under the guise of educational purposes because I would rather people be safe than get hurt trying to do shit or feel uncomfortable trying to do shit. Like, this is stuff that should be discussed in adult spaces more often. Keyword, adult spaces. Therefore, it should be age restricted so only adults can get to it, in theory. Again, but this does protect your ass from minors actually finding it and it lets the parents actually be at fault. I don't know how many times I have to say that. It feels like I'm a fucking broken record, but 
it's simple, but as we've seen from these channels I've talked about, there is very little restriction on this stuff, and with the range of content, kids are bound to eventually stumble upon this stuff. Therefore, this isn't an 18 plus space, this is almost a E for everyone kind of space when it most definitely should not be. Because again, you have like Halloween decoration videos and Vlogmas videos being literally brought to kids from adult-based spaces with no restrictions whatsoever besides a little warning that, again, I doubt kids will actually pay attention to. This is overall a very tricky subject and I'm not trying to be a Puritan-esque bitch when I talk about this stuff, but I'm just saying at the bare minimum it should be age restricted due to community guidelines as well as the fact that you don't want minors in these adult spaces. Age restrictions do actually make it so this is an adult space predominantly. And we can actually argue that these videos are educational in YouTube's eyes, I wouldn't I don't know what to classify them as, honestly. It is still revolving around kink, and in YouTube's eyes, that does mean that it has to be age-restricted. It is allowed because it's not a harsh kink or fetish, but again, the restriction does have to be in place because this is meant to be for adults. So, you know, maybe instead of just trying to throw away your accountability by saying, no minors, woo, maybe take actual steps to prevent minors from coming into adult-based spaces, you know, which a responsible adult would actually do. And you're all adults, so. Let's see some responsibility and accountability from you. But yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. I know that the subject's been done to death like years ago, but I figured that I'd talk about it again just because it is still a predominant thing on YouTube. And I figured it should be talked in not a weird kink lol way and more of a kinks are fine and educational stuff should be talked about kinks, but children should not be able to access this content kind of way. But this video and a uh, other previous video of mine, can you tell that my favorite thing to talk about right now is accountability? Boy, oh boy, I think it shows. I just want to reiterate real quick, please don't go to these channels and just leave like mean comments or anything like that. I understand that this shit is not for everyone and I mean, it's not for me, but I still don't like the idea of harassing people that I talk about. If you don't like it, just report it and move on, but don't leave comments that are like out of pocket. But anyways, if you guys liked this video and liked this little uh, toe dip into some kink territory on YouTube, uh, you might as well leave a like because we love validation on shit like this here. And subscribe if you're new because you'd probably like some of the content on my channel as is, I don't know, maybe go watch it, fuck if I know. Just a quick update, the next video I'm going to be making is going to take a little bit more time than usual because it is more of a different video than what I typically make. Kind of, I don't know, I'm still kind of talking about stuff, but it's not like this. And it's definitely gonna take me a little bit longer to actually make and I want it to actually be really good because it's something new that I'm doing and I wanna keep doing it and therefore I need to make it good so you guys like it. So uh, yeah, video is gonna take a lot longer than just a week this time, but it's gonna be worth it. You'll go without content for a little bit, but it'll be definitely worth it. I hope. But yeah, until that video is posted, I will see you guys later. Bye! But yeah, that is gonna do it for this video. I do- Ow! Fucking Christ! <laughs> Can we watch Narcos? <laughs> Why'd you actually scare me? Why'd you scare me with Javier's music? <laughs> because I wanted to scare you. Jesus Christ. Okay, I love you. Bye. Love you, bye. <laughs>